Ladies and gentlemen, today marks the date of a very important and treacherous day on October the 15th of 2024. Unless anybody's able to prove that they've beaten me to it, I, Clowner YouTube, am the very first person to complete the Goblin Stein Mastery Challenge. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Level 7 Goblin Stein. 150 gems, all of that work for a, for a pocket full. That's it. There it is. Oh, thank God the grind was rough. That sounds awfully similar to my ex-girlfriend. But anyway, today isn't about my ex. Today's about Clash Royale Goblin Stein. Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do, folks? There it is. Oh, oh, goodness. You may be wondering, Clowner, how were you able to master... The goblin stein so quickly well, let me tell you folks it wasn't quick okay but there is this deck i've been using which has been absolutely enslaving fellas there it is now if you know me you know i love my little snippet of bridge spam so i decided hey let's find a bridge spam goblin stein deck i found this at the top ladder i don't know who it was exactly but we're popping off with it entering in the path of legends with this deck man it's gonna be nice to just use it and not focus about getting any challenges any masteries i'm gonna just it's gonna be easy oh i can just sit back relax use the card i'm ever so familiar with now goblin stein which by the way if you're not using quite frankly you're throwing Use the Goblin Stein. I don't care what deck you're using. You use Wall Breakers, swap them out for Goblin Stein. Use Bridge Spam, swap it out for Goblin Stein. Use 2.6 Hog Cycle. Okay, maybe you don't need to change that, but you know. They've got a Goblin Giant coming in. It's fine. I got the E Barbs. Wooey Mama. I just realized I'm using the wrong deck. I'm thinking I've got the E Barbs. Where was E Barbs in this deck? It doesn't matter, folks. We're going to win with this deck anyway. Okay, that's how confident I am. That's how confident I am. This was a deck that I uh, concocted, if you will, when I was trying to implement the Electro Dragon evolution into it as well. I came up with this. Let's E-Drag Evo, poison here for the Bomb Tower and Marcher. Get some extra value in there. Now I've got the button to click if I need it, which I am going to use because he's going to drop on my... Uh, no, he's not. This goblins is dead. I thought he's going to drop Mighty Miner. He's going to clear it up nicely. They're there, stunning tower. They're there. It's going to be okay. The double stun is nice. That's going to get it down to around about the same as mine. 14, 17. Quick drink break. Make sure you stay hydrated. Fellas and fillets of fish. Uh, it usually is dark. When I record this, so the background usually looks a little better, you know, it isn't as, as much natural lighting. But I just completed the Goblin Stein. I figured I'd record this as soon as possible so I can get it out as soon as possible. We love it. Let's e barbs this up front. We've got the Electro Dragon coming in. He's probably going to flip this, so I'm going to crack it this side. And I'm going to get the Bomber as well. No, he doesn't flip. Let's drop a Goblin Stein. Boom. Because we've got the Evo Cracker coming in as well. Does he drop a marcher? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to drop my zap. There it is. Brr, 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 brr. For two elixir, genuinely the most insane champion ability in the, whole, in the whole game. I honestly thought once they introduced evolutions that they just forget about champions. And I'm very glad that they haven't. I'm very, very glad that they haven't. This is a little rough. I'm going to drop bomber on this side. That should be all that I need. The Evo Electro Dragon... Just pops off. I've got Ebobs at the ready. In case he flips it, he doesn't flip it. Why he's choosing not to flip it will remain mysterious. I was going to say mysterious, but I said mysterious instead. That's the new pronunciation. There it is. It's just that easy, folks. Now, for the actual deck that I'm using, here it is. This is a one evolution variant of it. If you have the slots for two evolutions and you have both of these, do this. Boom. If you don't have any evolutions, you don't need them. That's the beauty of it. Like, Battle Ram, obviously better with the evolution, but you really don't need it. It's so good, even without it. 
It's just so good. It's just so good, folks. Goblinstein will be getting nerfed. That I'm certain about. I did run a variant of this deck because I wanted to play around with the Evo Electro Dragon. I swapped out the Mother Witch. And it's not bad, but I do think the Mother Witch is better for this sort of deck. I'm going to zap because it's going to deal monstrous damage to that Mega Knight. And get rid of the Tombstone for me. I would like to arrows that. I am actually going to arrows that. Lovely jubbly. It gets me a pig as well. Get there. The person that I saw using this was running Cannoneer with it. You know how I feel about Cannoneer. I wouldn't personally choose to run Cannoneer, but that's what they did. So I trust it. It, it did just deal with the Battle Ram very nicely. I'll say that much. It did just absolutely poop on the Battle Ram. He thinks I'm going to support this push, but watch this. Watch this maneuver, ready? Ooh. I'm going to still do it. Oh, yes. Get there. Battle Ram left side. He's got trouble. Right here in River City. That's trouble with a T that runs with P and that stands for poor. Goodness gracious. There's a lot of damage on left side already. Even though it's pretty much the same as my tower because it's Cannoneer, you know? <laughs> Poopy moment. Poopy Cannoneer moment. But that's okay. I'm just going to Night Cycle because I don't want to invest too much because he's running Mega Knight. Goblin Stein is a great offensive card. But more importantly, it's an incredible defensive card. It's genuinely ludicrous on defense. Bandit pretty much fully deals with that battle ram, which is lovely. Cannon and Cannoneer are going to clear it up. Let's see if that cannon card gets to the tower or a tombstone. I predict the tombstone will come out. Mother Witch at the ready. There it is. Mother Witch. Some piggies for your stockings, folks. Love it. Not that many, but a few. Mother Witch might be able to get there for the goblin. Yes, look at that. I, I'm sitting at max. I got a little bit excited. Excuse me. Now let's battle around this side while he's dealing with the royal ghost. Ooh. Ooh. Knight might get there for one. Ooh, the lag as he placed that Mega Knight down. Okay. Watch this defense. You're going to love this. Goblin's trying at the back. Arrows is going to come down for this. Then I'm going to get a cannon cut up here. Now he's going to... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, Cannon Cart, uh, Cannon Tower should deal with that even. Cannon Tower, whatever it's called. Cannoneer! I'm losing my words, folks. Right. Now, we do one of these maneuvers. Mother Witch on this side. Evo Battle Ram right. Oi, mama. It's looking like it's going to be trouble right here in River City. Oh, it pushes his Battle Ram out the way. Which side is he going to deal with? Quite frankly, he's not so sure. Quite frankly, can he deal with either side? It doesn't matter, folks. It just doesn't matter. Goblinstein. Mm. Ah, that's what I needed, folks. A little bit of chug. A little bit of jug to chug, folks. Naughty from Clan B. Still haven't played Fortnite. Never. It's not even a game I'm, I'm against playing. I just haven't. I, I would use a spell, but watch this instead. Zap. <laughs> See you later, Bush. Creative way of countering it. He okay. Let's get, let's get a play analysis on what just happened there. He lightninged my my fella without hitting the motherfucking tower or the big fella. Intriguing. Intriguing. By the looks of this video, I usually do three per game. Three three games even what three games per video is what I meant to say. But this is going to be a four game video. These are going quickly. And I'm winning. And this is another another dub off the bat. He gives up. Naughty. I've seen, surprisingly, genuinely speaking, because I've got level 15 Goblin Stein, I've been, tr I've been playing in the trophy road. I play it down toward the beginning. Some people just say good game and quit. They're so over dealing with this card. It's ridiculous right now, folks. It's genuinely ridiculous. Also, I'd like your opinions in the comments, guys. I'm considering doing a, a Lucky Loop video fo focused on gambling. Uh, opening like 20 or 30, however many I get Lucky Loops at the end of the season. Just a video dedicated to that. I'm not sure if that is something you guys would be interested in. So let me know down below.
Gan, wow, what is that name? Gan Ni Nai Nai from Clan, ooh, from Clan White. He's running Cannoneer also. Let's see it. What does he do? Ooh, Cage off the bat with the Evo, importantly. Evo Cage. That's a one cycle. That's interesting. That's Royal Ghost this. Okay. I'm going to ban it this side to be cheeky. Purely for cheeky purposes. Let's see what he does. He places the Spear Goblins. The support for the Pekka is going to be minimal. I would like to Goblin Stein, but I think the better play is to Cannon Cart here. Bam. Let's rock with it. I wanna rock with you. Now let's knight. Night night. Rest well. And then we drop a goblin goblin duke. Goblin dukey. And we pop it. Zamp, 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 zamp. See you later, everything. See you later, everything. It's nuts. You can suck in a 1 HP goblin if you want. If that works for you. Look, do you see the node inside the cage? That looks bizarre. Let's arrows all of this. Then I will bandit the caged goblin. We currently have more damage than he does on my tower. Bien. Good. You know the stereotypical gamer thing. It's like reverse racism. When you see a name or a clan that's Chinese, Japanese, Korean, you're scared immediately. You're scared. Because it's like... Dude. East... East Asian people? They're just nutty at video games. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna Mother Witch at the back? No. This is looking a little bit sticky. Mother Witch. Then Stein. Now we zap. That doesn't reach the tower, which is good. The node is there. It's gonna kill the P.E.K.K.A. Most of the zappies are gone now. Everything is cleared, but it's a lot of damage on the tower. A little bit rough. A little bit rough. Let's roll goes to this side. See if we can make anything happen with that. Does he get Lord? No, he does not. No, he does because of the Electro Spirit. God damn. That's rough for me. That's very rough. I should have just kept it to that the, the three games, man. I should have just kept it to the three. It's like the rule of Clowner where you have to lose one game at least. Right? That's just the rule. That's just how it is. Now I Goblin Stein. Coming in. I'm going to zap all of this. Then I'm going to get the Battle Ram on this side. I'm going to get arrows for the Spear Goblins. It's not even... Ugh, I've got two of them. It hits it once. Now they're de-sheathed. He tornadoes it, but it's not enough. The barbs are going to get there. The Raged Barbarian on the left side is going to do work. The Raged Barbarian on the left side currently doing work. Nuts. We send in a Bandit. Then... Ooh, ooh. Cannon cart here. He does zappies. Bien. That's good for me. Now let's get a mother witch. This is scary, folks. Let's knight up front. Block that charge. Hopefully I'm going to get a bandit on this side. Hopefully we can take care of that. Mother witch is going to be enough. Let's battle ram on this right hand side. Arrows is going to come in now. Bam. Get there. Now let's send in a sticky ghost. While he's dealing with this right side. Does it get there and do work for me? The Mother Witch is currently dealing damage. Oi mama. I don't have spells to really cycle him down. Let's cut. Goblin Cage! Mother Witch up front. I'm not too worried about the Zappy. I'm going to get a Battle Ram down. It's going to come in and do work for me. The Zap is going to get there. Deal with most of that. That's the Battle Ram connecting. That's Game! Folks, if you're not using Goblin Stein, please, please use it! I'm sorry, I'm a little unstable. After playing it for so long, straight. I played it for like three days straight. I've got bags under my eyes, I'm not sleeping. I didn't master this card for nothing, folks. You start using it, let me know how you find it to be. I am Clowner, world record holder, by the way, of the Goblin Stein Mastery Challenge, until proven otherwise. I'll see you in the next one.